good morning to you so today i thought i would do a tutorial on my um box and a card i did so i'd seen this around for ages and i wasn't that keen i couldn't get my head around the idea of having a box sit in a card that you can put in an envelope and give to somebody so i had a play around with the idea and I came up with this one and I think it looks nice as a table favour. It was massively popular on Facebook so I thought I'd do a tutorial on how I made it. So to make the actual little box itself you need a piece of card. This is a UK A5 so it is 21 centimetres by 14.8. And we are going to score on the long side at 5, 10, 15 and 20. And then we're going to score on the short side at 1. six and eleven <coughs> excuse me this is all in centimeters i only work in centimeters i'm afraid okay <clears throat> so fold and burnish all your score lines so I do apologise for my filming. Anybody that knows me knows that filming tutorials is not really my forte. So I literally, well, if you could see my camera set up, you'd have a fit. Okay. So. So you should have three small... Uh, Four small rectangles at the bottom. This There's this one centimetre section on my right, one centimetre section at the top. Then I've got four squares and four rectangles at the bottom. So we are going to cut away this rectangle at the top. Like so. And then cut down. Push that one out. And chomp a piece off. Oops. And then I'm going to cut down that one. Fold all that over. Cut that one out. Might have both sides take a wedge off, and then we're going to leave that one exactly as it is. And then on the bottom, we're going to remove that little section there, and then I'm just going to literally mitre. Well, I'm not going to mitre, I'm just removing the score line on every section along the bottom so that gives us that shape now I'm just going to round the top of the corners on the section we've got left. So now to decorate the top, I have got five pieces of pattern paper. These measure 4.5 centimetres by 4.5 centimetres. 
and this paper I'm using I'm absolutely addicted to at the moment it is a hunky doy paper pad it's new to me I've just got this in stock at the shop it's called polka dots hmm. I think I'm going to make it my um, task to make one of these in every one of these polka dot colours because I just think they're so cute Okay, so that's that bit done. Oh, let's put that back in place. So now I'm going to add glue to this little tab on the end. And I'm going to fold that, <coughs> excuse me, fold that over, fold that over. My, um, for those of you that know me, I have a new grandson. He's seven months old. But he's got a rotten cough at the moment. And unfortunately, Nana now has that rotten cough. So. <clears throat> okay. So then I don't know what I'm going to put in mine. So I like to, I fold, it, fold in one side and um, put some glue on the top of that side and fold that in. I have to make sure everybody can see what I'm doing. That's the front and that's the back. I'm going to put glue on both of those. I'm going to bring that one and that one. Put that down. Make sure everything's stuck inside. There is my little box okay <clears throat> so to make the card bit I have a piece of colored card now this measures 16 centimeters by 13.1 okay and we're going to score on the long side at eight centimeters Okay, fold and burnish your score line. Okay, so <coughs> with a ruler and pencil, with your card in the uh, landscape position and the fold line at the top, mark in from both sides at four centimeters. So four centimeters. And four centimeters. I'm just going to do that so I can uh, and then I'm going to come down. Oh, hang on. I'm going to come down three centimeters. So I'm drawing a line at four centimeters. Oh, sorry, I wasn't in camera then. <coughs> And I'm coming down three centimetres. Okay. And I'm going to join those two up. So I've got that in there now. And so I was quite brave. You could do this on your um, trimmer. But I just... Put on my big girl pants and cut mine with scissors. So cut down the two score lines. Okay. 
and then straight across. <clears throat> and that gives you, and hopefully, your box fits in there like so. <clears throat> okay, so to I'm gonna rub those marks out. So to decorate this front piece, I've got a piece of pattern paper. This measures 7.5 centimeters by 12.6. That don't look like 12.6 to me. No, that is not 12.6. <clears throat> so let's get another piece of paper. Let's try again. Right, 7.5, that's better. <clears throat> now with your pat, how I got this to fit round my shape, with the pattern facing up, I marked in from both sides at 3.5. So I marked in at 3.5. And then I marked down at three and drew a line. Sorry, I keep forgetting I'm out of camera. It's because I think I'm just crafting and chatting away to myself here. Right, so I've done that. And then I am going to join those lines up. And then I'm going to cut that out. And then that fits on there, like so. So I'm just going to rub my pencil marks out. I think this is the longest video I've ever done. And some glue to the back. I don't edit my videos either, so you uh, have to put up with them. Um... Lucky enough, the dog has gone to sleep. But usually in my videos, you can hear him running through the back on my wooden floor. Okay. So there's that bit done. <clears throat> so to decorate mine, I cut a piece of um, coloured card. This measures three centimetres by 12.6. And a piece of pattern paper, this measures 2.5 by 12.1. Glue them together and glue them to the front. And then I have <clears throat> die cut a little shape.
So I've die cut the basic one in my coloured card and then I've cut the fancy one that goes with it in my pattern paper and then I've got another um, uh, coloured card one that goes on the top of that. So I'm just going to layer them all together. This is exactly how I made the ones with my class. Exactly the same dies I've used. And then I'm just going to stick that in there like that. I shall um, add my butterflies and things but there we go that is my box in a card thank you for watching see you again soon bye bye